Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading, and Capricorns, you are up. So this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury, or if you're a Capricorn cusp baby, this is going to be for you too. Capricorn North Node, if you were guided to this video and you don't have Capricorn in your in your chart, or you're not dealing with anybody that has Capricorn in their chart, maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. Um, cross watchers that's dealing with somebody that has Capricorn in their chart, of course, there's going to be uh, messages in this video for you too. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, please like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment as well as share. If it does not resonate, please try your moon sign as well as your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign in your birth chart. And in order to get your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign, you have to have your name, your date of birth, the time that you were born, as well as your location. If you don't have all that information, you'll still be able to get your sun sign, your moon sign, and I say pay attention to your Venus as well as your Mercury when you're dealing with love readings. I'm including North Node in my readings because this is the year of karma. So 2019 and 2020 was the year of karma. And since we're going through the great awakening, we're finding out that our souls and spirits have been um, recurring over and over and over and over and over in this lifetime. So we are um, waking up to who we truly are. There's lifetimes that we have karma that um, needs to be healed. So with us going through this karma phase in 2020, um, it's, it's bringing up past life karma and the karma in this lifetime that we need to overcome in order for us to stand in our true purpose. So I include North Node in my readings. If you're cusp babies, I include you in my readings because your sun sign represents who you're trying to be before you pass over in this lifetime. So if you were born between two zodiacs, that means that you are two um, signs so that you're trying to harness both of those energies before you pass over in this lifetime. So if I state your date of birth, that means that you're a cusp baby. If I don't state your date of birth, that means that you're a regular Capricorn when it comes to your sun sign. Um, so Sagittarius slash Capricorn. Um, December the 18th through December the 24th, Sagittarius slash Capricorn, December the 18th through December the 24th, Capricorn slash Aquarius, January the 16th through January the 22nd, Capricorn slash Aquarius, January the 16th through January the 22nd. Okay. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you have been here for a while, thank you for supporting me. If you're new to my channel, I do give messages to the collective before I do give my reading. So if you're pressed on time, you can always go down to the comment section of the video to go directly to the beginning of the reading. If you're pressed on time and you don't want me to, to hear me talk. Moving forward, if you use your free will to state that I talk too much, you will be blocked and not be able to come back on my channel. One of the gifts that I do have is clear audience. So I do have music in the background. I have Pandora on. It's a list of different stations that I have that's underneath my um, Pandora account. Um, anything from um, oldies, R&B, hip hop, uh, meditation music, uh, country, alternative, um, different genres to help everybody that, you know, I, that watches my channel um, throughout the world uh, and allow you to resonate with certain songs that's in your journey to give you uh, messages in your blueprint to help assist you in whatever it is that you're going through. So again, um, I am somebody that is, my soul has been here 
for the since the beginning so i'm going through um uh, this major awakening on uh, me standing in my true purpose and then also assisting the collective and helping y'all stand into your true purposes because there's a lot of people that are born to be leaders are are part of you know this this major big shift that we're getting ready to experience especially with all these veils that's falling down in front of our eyes and it's just layers and layers and layers and layers that's falling off rapidly because we're going through these dna uh, dna activations so they can no longer sugar sugarcoat or hide certain things from us because we're getting access to our genetics we're getting access to our in, in his uh ancestor um where we come from our bloodline and so on so that's something that the government that's something that the elite cannot control um it's one reason why they do have martial law in place and y'all are going to understand how all the coronavirus and all that is tied to um this great awakening that's going on and then people's third eyes opening up and they're able to see you know these demons and these dignities and um people that don't have souls um and, and so and spirit so on so it's that's why social distancing is very um convenient right now because of that happening and again if you have been waking up you've been you know what's getting ready to happen you you've been waiting for this just like i have because it allow us to really stand in our purpose and really admit to who we truly are that our soul and our spirits and the ancestors and as well as our soul tribe been telling us who we are um so very 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 exciting moment for me and then i know a lot of y'all feel the same way that i feel um, and there's some people that, again, that are, you know, going through troubling times because of everything that's going on. And then also not understanding, you know, why this is happening, why that is happening because of the things that they're taking part of that's keeping them asleep. So people have their choices in their free will, which I don't like that they're using people's free will for everything that has been happening with the manipulation, with the black magic, with the elite and all this other stuff that we've been going through that y'all are not aware of. Um... It, it makes me feel that everybody is not getting treated fairly when it comes to getting judged on their free will. And they know that um, that's something that I disapprove on. Uh, me understanding exactly what's been going on and people, especially when you're a twin flame, twin ray, a divine partner, life partner, you're playing this runner and chaser phase and not understanding the main reason why you're playing this runner or chaser phase is because you already have black magic that's on your soul and spirit because you are on admission for masculines and feminines and bringing back that energy that has been damaged so much. So why would they not sabotage your journey? And that's how you have to look at it moving forward. And then you'll start understanding why there's grudges, why there's so much abandonment, there, why there, this person is not loving me the right way. And then on top of that, you have karmics and soulmates and family members that also take part of these spells and this black magic that they put on your masculine and your feminine. And it's just weighing them more down and, and causing more issues and causing more crises in y'all's journey. And the more that you get awakened, the more that you focus on yourself and you start loving yourself and you distance yourself and you start understanding the journey that you're a part of because you are considered as a chosen person. If you are a twin flame, a twin ray, a divine partner, a life partner, those four automatically are chosen people everybody do not have the availability to experience those type of journeys and those connections with your other half and when you're in those people that's in your environment your family your friends um you know your co-workers your boss whatever the situation may be will not understand you because this is something that they cannot and will not experience so again i'm here to help you the song that's on right now is happily ever after by case so some of y'all could be thinking about proposing capricorns to um your masculine your feminine or your masculine your feminine could be thinking about proposing to you um feminines proposed now i have thought about proposing to you know when when i in my younger days i was like it would be nice to be the first woman to propose because i am very um when it comes to the fellas that's in my life when it comes to like partying and they get married um, they want me to throw their bachelor at party. I mean, their bachelor party because I am into the strip clubs. I'm into, I don't care because I'm bisexual. And that's another thing that's about me. Um, and it's about my soul and understanding exactly how things happen and how you have, when I was learning my birth chart, I have more masculine in my chart. So that gives me, um, 
has me to be attracted to women. Um, but again, I know my past life before this, I was a man. So it's a lot of things that I was understanding on why I felt certain ways. But again, certain things that my soul was taking part of in a long, 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 long time ago got me to where I am now. So I'm like, I'm like just, I've been a tomboy the majority of my life. And um, I'm growing up now to be in, in, and trying to, you know, reverse that masculine energy and bring more back of my feminine energy. In my younger days, they say that you're, moon sign is who you are in your younger days which if i was more of my moon sign in my younger days i was i'm a pisces moon so i can understand where i was in my feminine energy in my younger days and now with me being you know get into my adulthood and i'm living more in my taurus and gemini energy i'm a mixture of tom tomboy and so i because of the what those two energies represent um so I understand myself more and I'm here to help you understand yourself more because of a lot of y'all that are going to be doing the same thing that I'm doing and helping and waking um, people that's in your environment um, to shift them, their consciously, their conscious so they can get on a certain frequency so they can get over this um, matrix. Uh, what, what, how, how, what am I wanting to say? This hidden agenda that we have been in that we have not been aware of and allowing our souls, our souls and spirits be able to go to the next phase is being humanoids and having our activations as far as our DNA, our species, where we come from and so on and not allowing them to control the mass. So not have the not being in the, the, the agenda that they have planned for us as humanoid people okay so let's go ahead and get started again capricorns um let's see energy updates as far as the energy it is tour season so that's you being in your element as far as that earth energy so you nurturing yourself it has to do with your heart chakra and your root chakra so making sure that you're aligning both of those you're doing the things that you need to do in order for those to stay you know in a in a healthy space and not more of a negative space um so it's wear green wear red eat green fruits eat red red vegetables eat less red meat go outside in nature walk barefooted inside your home and outside Put flowers and plants inside your home. Touch trees. Sit underneath a tree. <clears throat> that will help you as far as when it comes to working on those two things. And since we are, again, since February, been going through these heart activations, especially masculines, they're realizing the difference between love and lust, which is also a big major part of the journey between masculines and feminines, um, realizing what's the difference of unconditional love and, and letting go of lust and realizing lust is just something that, you know, because I, I can't, I, I won't say that, and and I would be a fool to say that because of the experiences that I have been with. Um, lust can be very, um, there. I, I do feel that love is tied when it comes to lust. If you have been dealing with somebody for a long time, um, even if it started off as a lustful situation, it can turn into love. And I, that's one thing that I can say that happened with me and my divine partner. We both you know started off in a, re a relationship where it was like no strings attached and when it was no strings attached we both went into a situation not knowing that um we would be changing each other's lives and making each other see different perspectives when it comes to who we are where we come from because we have been grown grew up in different lifestyles and um it was when i was ready to leave he was ready. He when I when I left, that made him realize that um, he lost a good thing, and he would always tell me that I was his happy space um, compared to all the uh, other women that he dealt with. And when I left, that's when he started expressing and showing his true feelings about me and you know as when you're going on this journey and there's a lot of hurt and there's a lot of abandonment and there's a lot of emotional pain that's tied to it a person can only take so much and i walked away and i end up meeting my life partner and when i met my life partner he was my divine partner was trying to come back so i gotta see a side of him at the end that i never saw before out of the whole 
four years that we were dealing with each other where he really loved me and he, it was hard for him to open up and express that to me because again, the things that he have dealt with in his childhood, the women that he has dealt with in his life, and then also um, just the morals that he had um, growing up. So I'm just here to help you understand that these journeys are very um, uh, difficult but you get through them the best way that you can. And I'm here to assist you with there. There's a lot of people that's here to guide you. Watch certain people because there is certain people that's here to distract you and keep you in delays longer than what you need to. But using your intuition, into using your intuition, your higher self, your ancestors are always going to be helping you and guiding you and getting you out of any maze or any, any out of any, you know, harms out of harm's way. Um, that's set in, set in your path, okay? So let's go ahead and get started, um, Capricorns. Main deck, Ancestor, Torrid Path deck. Um, we're going to cut and shuffle on camera. The other cards have already been shuffled in your energy. We're going to cut them on camera. If you're interested in purchasing any of these decks, they're listed in the description box of the video. Um, at the... Um, it, of all my videos, I also have my own Amazon store if you're interested in purchasing any of these decks, if they're available in Amazon, if you're into energy healing stones, crystals, and things like that, it's always listed. Um, it's also in my Amazon store for, your, for you to purchase as well. Screaming money ain't a thing. We up until six in the morning. Baby, when we gonna slide? They opening back up the states. I know the state of Texas and I'm happy they're opening it back up before my birthday. My birthday is May the 17th and they're gonna be um, opening up stuff um, the beginning of May. And so, oh wow. So, um... It's going to allow me to be able to celebrate my birthday and not inside the house. And so I'm happy about that because um, I'm uh, and uh, hopefully y'all are going to be getting out, doing things, taking back advantage of our freedom. That little bit of freedom that they're giving us, they're breaking, you know, allowing people to get outside of their homes if, as long as they pro if they follow the rules, whatever. But I know that that's just the illusion to what's to come. But I understand what they're doing and why they're doing it. OK, um, so let's go ahead and get started. So, again, this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury are for your Capricorn cusp baby. North Node guided to this video and you don't have Capricorn in your chart and you're not dealing with anybody that has Capricorn in their chart um, as well as uh, cusp babies and North Node. Uh oh, the card just fell out. Let me pick it up real quick. Justice, okay? So this represents Libra. So this represents um, somebody taking responsibility. This also represents fairness. So finally, you know, let's say if you were um, getting treated unfairly in the past, I feel that now things are turning around in your favor. I feel that there's a, a lot of faded events that's happening for you, Capricorns. Um, I feel that this is also representing energy as far as you being balanced. This also represents energy as far as making a decision. So I feel that somebody's getting ready to make a decision. So this could be you, Capricorn, or your masculine or feminine, and they are firm when it comes to them making this decision. This also represents legal and you know law and order. So some of y'all could be dealing with situations as far as when it comes to that. But most importantly this could represents communication too but you know communication coming in and the communication that's coming in i feel that you're it's going to be you're going to be happy with it because you're going to feel that it's 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 fair um what this person is saying to you okay so whatever you're hearing from this person or if you are giving this person this talk or and again my vibration is on that is there when it comes to uh, when it goes off, it's either alerting you that you're paying too much to me and they're using it as a distraction to distract you from getting the message that I'm giving to you on me, um, delaying, um, distracting me from giving you the message or it's either you're not paying attention to me and they're wanting you to rewind to catch the, miss the message that you missed, okay? Um, so, but again, communication coming in and this person can be very sharp with their words is what I'm getting from this, Okay.
We have the Nine of Sacred Circles. This represents Virgo. This came out in my Gemini reading. Um, it's reversed. Um, we have the Prince of Cups being reversed. We have the Wheel of Fortune being upright. We have the Two of Swords being reversed. This came out in my Gemini reading as well. And then we have the Judgment card being upright. Yeah, somebody getting their karma. Uh, somebody also, again, faded events happening. Um, this also represents a change. This also could represent a rebirth as far as when it comes to you Capricorns or your masculine, your feminine, um, them rebirthing themselves. Um, again, because of them having to go through necessary karma, them getting judged. So there could be a court case or legal. If you are dealing with anything with the legal system, I do feel that they're going to be, you know, they're going to be opening all that stuff back up because there are cases that they have to get done and with and certain things that need to be going be happening. So I do feel that say if you do go to court and that starts going up, um, starts opening back up, and when you go back, I feel that the whatever you're dealing with is going to be working out in your favor. Okay. So I do feel that the judgment turned out and it, it, you're getting victory. Um, if you were getting judged before in the past, you're getting victory from that as well. Okay. Um, this represents energy as far as fire. So it represents Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius. It also represents energy as far as um, you're receiving a reward. So I feel that this reward that y'all receiving is good karma working in your favor. And like I mentioned earlier, faded events happening. Um, so these are things that was meant to happening, a lot of change happening in your life. And if it was necessary that somebody had to go through their karma, if this is you Capricorn or your masculine or feminine had to go through their karma in order for them to get right, it, that it was meant for it to happen this way. Okay. You have the nines of sacred circles coming out, um, which is the nine of pentacles being reversed. So this represents energy as far as Virgo. This also represents energy as far as when it's reversed. This is when it's upright. This represents energy as far as, you know, a bachelor, a bachelorette. When it's reversed, um, they're no longer wanting to be the bachelor. They're no longer wanting to be the bachelorette. So if this is you Capricorn, or if this was your masculine, your feminine, they possibly had a lot of suitors. They were not wanting to settle down. They were not wanting to commit to a relationship. They possibly were enjoying their life. Again, they possibly had, you know, the finer things going for themselves, a good job, you know, a good head on their shoulders. Um, as far as when it comes to this, the, what the representation of this card means, it also represents energy as far as, um, inheritance as well as a big money game. So some of y'all could have been dealing with issues as far as when it comes to your finances with this being reversed, lack of um, financial stability. And this could have been past energies that you were going through Capricorn or your masculine or feminine was going through. I do see that this is also represents energy as far as somebody being very materialistic. So let's just say if they were involved in, um, cause you do have the Prince of Cups being here and it's reversed. And this is the Knight of Cups. And this represents when it's reversed, it represents the love them and leave them type. So this person could have had multiple lovers, um, where again, they will come, they, they had multiple relationships because again, because they were the bachelor, they were the bachelorette, they were putting their emotions into other situations and other things. Um, again, coming in, expressing how they care about you, loving you. But at the same time, as soon as they do that, they, again, they, they rush out. As soon as they come in, they rush out. Again, they're also expressing their emotions with different women and different men as well. So this could have caused an issue as far as when it comes to, you know, your emotional stability. Um, when the page of cups is reversed, this also represents energy as far as, as you know manipulative so this person could have been very manipulative when it comes to your emotions um your heart space okay is what i'm getting from this okay so this person was possibly holding back their emotions they were not being truthful on how they truly felt is what i'm getting from this as far as energy too um, this also represents energy as far as fears of commitment and somebody could have had a fear of commitment Somebody could have been used to being uh, a bachelor or a bachelorette and they could have had fears or not realizing their self-worth because this could represent Somebody not realizing that they're worthy enough. Okay, so not realizing that they are, you know worthy enough of receiving and giving unconditional love too is what I'm getting so this also represents energy as far as um, deception. So I do feel that there was some deception as far as when it comes to, okay, a love situations. 
Um, again, either this person was not expressing themselves and completely opening up. They could have been, you know, holding back their emotions. Um, they could have been cold hearted as far as when it comes to them expressing their emotions to you. Um, again, having multiple lovers, um, you do have the will of fortune coming out. So I do feel, let's say if this was past energy or if this is something that you've dealt with, or if you're even going through this now, I feel that this person, let's say if you are in a relationship and you are involved with somebody and this is your twin flame, your twin ray, and they are doing this to you now, I feel that this person is getting like a... When you have the Wheel of Fortune come out, this represents destiny. So I feel that this person's ancestors... I feel that this person's ancestors, um, you know, the universe is making, you know... Making this person go through their karma, making this person go through their judgment to have them make... To cause them not to be so indecisive and for them to make a decision... Um, so I feel like the universe is stepping in to, um, I don't want to say bring, it could be tower moments, uh, but I feel like they're bringing like certain things into this person's environment to cause them to move forward in a certain situation. So if it's coming to them as karma, if it's coming to them as a beautiful beginning, um, you know, it, it's necessary um, things that are happening so this person can take action is what I, I'm getting from this energy, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune coming out, this represents, again, taking action. It represents energy as far as um, a, getting to a turning point, the wheel finally moving, karma working out in your favor, somebody changing, you know, who they are because they had to go through a major rebirth, a major um, shakeup in their life or go through something that was traumatizing as far as a karmic. It could have been as far as them being, you know, a player, um, are, you know, loving their bachelor light or they're loving their bachelorette life. They went through, you know, other relationships outside of you that were toxic in order for this person to, um, you know, get, in order for this person to realize your worth as well as to realize their worth, they had to go through karmic relationships and then also go through certain tower moments and it possibly could have been tower moments with their finances or again tower moments within themselves and not realizing their real their 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 self-worth okay them also not respecting themselves if they were a bachelor if they were you know ha living multiple lives having multiple lovers and, and so on okay is what i'm getting and this could have been very indecisive this person was could have been very indecisive they could have been going back and forth when it comes to making a decision between you and them this person was very unwilling and unsure to move they were not moving um and some of y'all possibly could have cut this person out or walked away or again if this person not making a decision it just the relationship didn't get that push the way that it needed to make get that push is what i'm hearing but i feel that there's a spark um and the universe is bringing this spark to this person are they bringing this spark to your relationship is what i'm hearing Yeah, you have the Ace of Cups being reversed. So I do feel that there's going to be an ending to a love relationship. Again, if they are the love and leave them type of person, and if they are letting go of their bachelor life and they were, you know, expressing themselves emotionally and telling other women and other men that are not their masculine or feminine that they love them, there could be some people that are left heartbroken um, because I do feel that this person did invest in certain relationships with this nine of sacred circle being here too. So they were spending their time, they're spending their money, they were spending their in their their um putting their energy into the situation so you have emotion and you have money here you have earth energy so that's time money okay um then you also have fire here so that's putting action into a certain situation okay um you have the three of swords being reversed so that's that third party situation when this is upright this represents you know tears it represents emotional pains it represents you being in a, a love triangle okay when it's reversed it represents confusion that's brought to a certain situation and i do feel that there was a lot of confusion when it comes to okay does this person love me do i love them um you know dang they love this person why are they putting more emotions into this person if i'm their twin flame if i'm their twin ray if i'm their divine partner if i'm their life partner is, is what i'm getting from as far as this energy um but i feel that somebody definitely was possibly holding back their emotions i feel that this person was being very selfish um if they are involved with somebody let's say if they is somebody and they're experiencing heartache because their karmic or soulmate cheated on them 
Um, it's like they're getting their karma from the karmic. They can't get their karma from their divine masculine, their divine feminine. They have to get those lessons learned from a karmic or soulmate. So there could have been a karmic or soulmate that did them the same way that they did you. And again, that's a lesson learned and that's a part of their karma and a part of their judgment that they have to be dealt with in order to for them again to realize your worth and to realize again that that was just a lustful situation because that person could have left them from for another man or another woman is what i'm hearing and put them in a third party situation just like they put you in a third party situation so the shoe got put on the other foot This also represents energy as far as overcoming a pain, the pain. So like I was saying, if this is something that happened in the past, because it's all in past position or in present position as well, because I did say some of y'all are going through this now, but majority of y'all could have went through this in the past. And now this person is overcoming this heartache. Now they're getting ready to move forward. And I don't want to make it seem like, like I'm not saying that y'all are a, a, a rebound. So please don't, don't. And the ones that get in the comments say, I don't want that motherfucker back and blah, 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 blah. I, I really see y'all as not being true masculines and feminines. Because I, I feel that y'all haven't learned the lesson of what this, this, this journey is really truly about. And when I see that. So... I, there's lessons that y'all have to learn in order for y'all to be in union. And this is one of the lessons that needed to be learned. So this y'all both can understand what's the difference between lust and unconditional love. And this person that they were dealing with, that they were putting their time, their money, their energy, they're giving their heart space to did not love them prop did not love them the way that they love the, the them the the karmic or the the soulmate your masculine your feminine whoever or if this is you capricorn if you are the one that put your car your masculine and your feminine in a third party situation and you were dealing with a karmic or soulmate or dealing with multiple suitors um some of you got you got attached to i i feel that somebody fell in love with somebody and it was a karmic or soulmate and this karmic or soulmate um put them in a third party situation and this person is now trying to overcome that pain and it's a lesson that that, that was needed that this person needed to learn even though it put a, the true masculine and feminine in heartache um in pain but the one that was put in heartache and pain you learn your lesson for you was to learn self-love self-respect and when you walked away from that situation with your masculine, your feminine, because they were loving somebody else or putting time and energy into a third party situation, and you made that decision to cut yourself out of that, that was the best move that you possibly could do to help your other part go through whatever lessons that they needed to go through and realize your self-worth. And I feel that this is what's going on in this situation, okay? The hangman card, this card came out in my Gemini, Gemini reading, but it was upright. So with this card being reversed, this represents energy as far as water. So Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. This also represents Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. Again, you have the, the Prince, uh, the Knight of uh, Cups, Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. So a lot of water. Um, the, the Will of Fortune was Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius. And then again, you have the Nine of Sacred Circles, which is Virgo. Okay. I've been thinking of you. So when this is reversed, this represents somebody that was procrastinating. So this person, again, could have been procrastinating on making a decision and choosing you. Again, letting go of their bachelor life. I feel that this was something that they were procrastinating on. Again, they could have been the love and leave them. They could have had multiple suitors. Um, they were very indecisive as far as when it comes to that. Some of them could have been playing the victim um, as far as when it comes to, you know, the relationship you know, making you feel like it was you and it was necessarily really them. If they were having fears of commitment, um, they could have pushed it off of you at you are again. Um, this could also represent energy as far as looking. This person was not completely, but like, like I say, let's say if this person was looking to balance themselves mentally, physically, as well as emotionally, this person was not spiritually fulfilled within themselves. So somebody was lacking balance when it comes to their emotions. Again, that's shown here with all these water cards being reversed. This person did not know how to express themselves. Or again, they were expressing themselves too much to too many different people. And it caused them to get into situations that was not good for them. Because you could have had somebody that would lie. Lie to certain people. When it comes to their emotions. 
or say that they love this person and they really didn't love them? I know I you tried to warn me. Now I just kept, I just kept sleeping on you. And now I want you. Since you've been away by Ball Greasy, I so love him. So this person is, you're in this person's thoughts very heavily, okay? Um, again, I do feel there possibly could have been a baby situation that possibly could have been involved or there could have been children that was in a situation when this hangman card comes out. It always represents a child um, or there could have been, this person could have been in standstill from a pregnancy and then found out that this person was pregnant by somebody else. And that's where this heartache and this pain is coming from. And this person is realizing that, that the person that they left you for put them in a third party situation and got knocked up by somebody else. And that was a part of this person's karma. <coughs> but, <coughs> but this person is coming in. So this represents movement. So this again represents somebody taking action, then putting in the necessary work, um, putting in the necessary steps when it comes to, you know, completing whatever it is that they're going out and setting themselves out to do. Um, this represents energy as far as being bold. It also represents moving forward. Okay, so moving forward in a certain situation when it comes to your emotions. Again, if y'all are overcoming pain as far as when it comes to heartache, you're moving forward from that is what I'm hearing. You have the five of sacred circles reversed. So this represents energy as far as things getting better. Um, again, also successful it, success as far as when it comes to budgeting, um, handling your money, properly again if y'all are having issues as far as with your finances i feel that things are turning around you are you know successfully budgeting budgeting you're successfully budgeting your money and investing in the right things and since we have been on lockdown we haven't been spending money um the way that we used to so it's also allowing us to save money inside of our homes keep more money inside of our homes as well so i do feel that this is going to be something that's going to be getting better between the relationships between you and this person um and a lot of y'all are not holding grudges because y'all understand that there are certain lessons that's learned and there's some people that don't understand that and they're the ones that always come down and comment um at the bottom saying negative stuff and i understand we all go through hurt but there you there's certain ways that you overcome the hurt and there's certain things you're not supposed to say some negative stuff even though this person hurts you you because the words that we use and the words that we have been given and the language that we have been given we don't understand what meanings true meanings of are of some of these words that they gave us so you could be automatically cursing your relationship with your masculine and your feminine by being negative or using negative words or even using some positive words that they got disguised as um good words do you understand what i'm saying so you're already in this matrix that's already put and set up for your failure so i'm just saying don't hold grudges from your masculine and your feminine if you want to completely remove yourself from them stop watching videos um about that person because i feel like a lot of y'all say you don't want that person but you continue to watch videos about that person and that just telling me that you are denying your feelings so now you could be the one that's denying your feelings on how you truly feel about this person okay so i'm i'm here and i'm gonna keep it real with everybody regardless if you the one that's getting hurt or if you the one that's doing you are getting done right whatever side that you're in i have a message i have messages for everybody okay so you have the princess of sacred circles being re reversed this represents the page of cups so this represents energy as far as more earth so capricorn taurus as well as virgo um this also is your card capricorns so when this is reversed this represents energy as far as somebody being very selfish them being stingy with their time their energy their money um again and this could also represents a baby not being theirs and again they could have invested in a certain situation they could have chose you over this other person and then just finding out that this baby was not theirs they got some somebody else got them pregnant they moved on with somebody else left them possibly broke without finances as well Whew. This person was being very rebellious as far as when it comes to the relationship between you and them. Some of y'all could have children that are acting very rebellious, an earth sign child that could be acting a bit rebellious or a water sign child that's acting rebellious as well.
there is some spying that's going on is what I'm hearing. Um, I feel that there's some spying going on, even though that the cards are not here uh, for it. But I do feel that somebody is watching somebody. And it, and it could be not be your masculine, your feminine that's watching you. This could be, let's say if your masculine, let's say if this is not the baby situation where somebody is getting, you know, the, the, their karma, how they did you, they're doing, getting done. Let's say if this is a situation where your masculine or your feminine had a lot of other suitors and they're letting go of their bachelor life and they're letting go of other women and other men. And they're removing themselves from these other women that are going in and, and expressing. Because I feel that they're, this person is giving a lot of truths to certain women and certain men in order for them to move completely towards you. But they have to go in and admit that they really don't love this person or they really don't care. It was a lustful situation. And I feel that, let's say, if these karmics or soulmates know about you, they're spying on you. So it's not your masculine, your feminine that's spying on you. It's the other women or the other man that know about you, Is if you understand what I'm saying. You have a three of sacred circles, more energy as far as third party energy. This represents energy as far as somebody being very narrow minded, them being very selfish, also overqualified, um, feeling overqualified. So there could have been some of y'all that felt that you were too good or your masculine, your feminine could have felt that they were too good for you. Um, again, this could be uh, the, the lover, the person that they were, uh, they left you for. Um, could feel that they were too good for your masculine, your feminine are too good for you, Capricorn, is what I'm getting. And they chose somebody else. You have the nine of sacred, the nine of five. So this represents energy as far, far as fire energy. So this represents energy as far as, um, you know, weakness of character, um, you know, so lies, deception. Again, if there is karmics or soulmates that know about you, there's things that are being said. Um, again, there's people, they're saying things about you or that are not true is what I'm hearing. Um, I do feel that this also represents recovering from a situ situation. So again, a, a lot of, um, you know, energy as far as your heart space energy, recovering from, you know, uh, emotional conflicts, emotional troubles, emotional pains, um, recovering from, you know, that, um, that heartache from that recovering from the certain situation. And again, this person is also recovering. If it is somebody that is finding out that a baby is not theirs and there are their person left them for somebody else, they're also recovering from that heartbreaking situation too. So if this person is coming back from your past, what are they going to be bringing you? You have a seven of water. So again, how I told you, this person was living in illusions. They were living in a lot of fantasies. They were wearing their rose-colored glasses. Um, they had too many choices. They were not choosing you as the right cup, okay? So I feel that this person was, you know, uh, bringing confusion to the relationship between you and them as well as bringing confusion to both of y'all's heart space. And again, if this person, if this is the... The, the, the player and they are giving the bad news to the karmics or the, and the soulmates, they are really like being very straight up and being very detailed to these women or to these men on how, what's the difference of, you know, they know they love you and they were just in a lustful situation with them. She's South Dallas swag. A complex, a complex decision the need to do research, stop procrastinating. And I said somebody was procrastinating, playing the victim. They could have been dealing with somebody that was mentally ill. So I do see some of y'all could have been have, dealing with somebody, let's say if they were dealing with a mar um, um, uh, a karmic or soulmate, that karmic and soulmate could have been uh, unstable as far as when it comes to their emotions. They could have had a mental illness is what I'm getting from this as well. So the nine of stives is coming on top of the nine of stives. So this is double confirmation that somebody is talking badly about somebody, okay? There's uh, really a lot of gossip that's going on. Um, a lot of he say, she say stuff that's going on, okay? I feel that this person had real, you know, power um, struggles when it comes to them getting themselves out of a certain situation. Um, I do feel like I said, this could have been a power struggle for this person to go and give these truths to these karmics are these soulmates the people that they were not really truly in love with as well um so you have the nine of why nine of fire here so it says don't give up never give up protect 
that which you've created have courage and believe in yourself so earlier how i was saying knowing that you are worthy enough to receive unconditional love as well as giving unconditional love justice wow justice showed up twice a lot of judgment a lot of karma a lot of karma a lot of faded events universe has a say so in this okay it was time for all this shit to happen so you have an eight here. Eight represents movement. So it says fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. So again, how I said, if you are dealing with a court situation, a lot of things are going to turn out in your favor, okay? If you were getting treated unfairly, regardless if this is your relationship from your masculine, your feminine, a family, friends, a job situation, whatever the case may be, Things are going to be working out in your favor. Things are going to be turning out in your favor. You're going to get that justice that's going to be deserved. And I do feel that somebody is wanting to come in and they're wanting to balance the scales between you and them. You have calling in your soulmate. So again, this person was calling in their true soulmate. The universe was like, nope, this is not the right person. We're going to go ahead and make you go through this, this tower moment real quick because that's not your true soulmate. Get your shit together. Your true soulmate, you've been, you know, you chose the wrong cup. You were not seeing them um you were overlooking them um is what i'm hearing and now i feel like i said your ancestors your higher self the universe um is making things happen in this person's life or making things happen in your life capricorn that's going to be bringing in your true soulmate okay so it says your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together if this is your masculine your feminine and again they were dealing with multiple women both of y'all were manifesting each other both of y'all were calling each other in to one another so you have new love so i told you earlier some of y'all were going to be going into a new situation if you are finding out that you're masculine you're, if you are finding out that um the person that you were involved with cheated on you you have a new opportunity that's coming to you in love some of y'all could be ending a relationship with an earth sign a water sign and choosing a fire sign or a libra and that could be a new opportunity as far as love Okay. Um, or like I said, if this person is coming back from your past and they are changed, they're coming in as a new energy. So it's going to be like, you're learning this person all over again, but a lot of y'all have an opportunity in love. Okay. So it says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay. Wow. I'm just going to say it. Some of y'all are going to have an opportunity to connect with a new person that you have never been in a relationship with. And then there's also going to be somebody that's coming back from your past. And this person that's coming back from your past, again, could have been the one that put you in a third party situation. They left you for somebody else. Or again, they were enjoyed their bachelor life and they were not wanting to commit. Or this person, again, had issues as far as when it comes to their stability, realizing their self-worth. And you walked away from this person. You cut them out. Um, now this person is wanting to come out, come back, and you possibly have a new situation with somebody else. So I do feel that this is possibly going to put you in a split decision on you trying to make a decision on where you want to go as far as when it comes to the new beginning. But just know whichever way that you choose, you're going to experience justice in a situation. Is what I'm hearing. Whichever you choose, if you have two options, you're going to receive justice in that situation and you're going to get your brand new beginning. So it says someone from your past is returning to your life. Otter spirit. So this is my twin flame card in this deck. Um, this is, again, you are never alone. Feeling your, your, your twin flame, your twin ray, your divine partner's energy around you, even if you're not um, in around them in 3d but your 5d spirit your 5d soul y'all are connected also realizing that you have soul tribe members soul tribe family members that come in to assist you and help you through whatever tower moments whatever you know ex uh situations that you're going through okay is what i'm getting from this so you have a 42 here which is a six six represents um uh harmony as well as past you have ground hog spirit so it says time to let go it's kind of funny that they have these two different things they look kind of the same so it says time to let go so letting go of a certain situation some of y'all are gonna you know go and experience a brand new beginning with this new person some of y'all possibly are gonna let go of the new person and reconnect with the with somebody from your past 
So I feel like I said it's a split decision as far as when it comes to you Capricorns and who's watching this video. But I do see it says time to let go of a situation that's no longer serving you. Okay, so you have a 31 here, which is a four. Fours represents uh, stability. Um, this person wanting to bring stability to this relationship, this new love might be wanting to bring stability to this new relationship between you and them. Badger spirit, be fearless and be bold. So this person that's coming back from your past, they're getting ready to be fearless. They're getting ready to be bold. Again, I feel that this person is wanting to balance the scales between you and them. So if this person is coming back, you have another four. I just said four. So you have a four, four here. So fours could be significant. You also have a 42 here. So that's another four. Um, so four, four could be very significant to you. So be fearless and be bold. So this person is coming in, they're being, um, you know, daring, they're being passionate. They're going to be, you know, um, take charge. Pretty much this person is getting ready to take charge of the situation. You have spiritual teachers. So some of y'all could be wanting to become a spiritual teacher. Some of y'all could be connecting with spiritual teachers to assist you in whatever it is that you're going through. So it says your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. And that was in the message that I was giving you earlier, Capricorns. I'm here to assist you, allow you to open up your crown chakra so you can be who you're meant to be and stand in your high purpose because we have missions to complete Um here on earth okay so a lot of y'all could be becoming a spiritual teacher to help the collective like i stated earlier you have everything's okay so everything's okay everything is working out in your flavor in your favor so just know that so it says don't worry it's all working out in a beautiful way marriage so somebody is going to be uh proposing you could be getting a proposal from either one of these people is what I'm hearing, but somebody is going to get a proposal and you're going to have to make a decision. So it says the fairies join you in celebrating wedding blitz. The hermit. So this represents Virgo. So some of y'all could be dealing with somebody that has Virgo in their chart. You did have the nine of sacred circles um, being reversed. So this is falling on top of the, the same energy. So again, the hermit card represents energy as far as, you know, going through your inner healing, secluding yourself, doing the things that you need to do in, in order to work on you. So again, if there was separation between the relationship between you and them, I feel Capricorn, you were either working on you or this person, your masculine and feminine was working on them. I do feel that somebody became the logical thinker and they, you know, we're able to think about their mistakes as well as think about, you know, like I said, if this person is realizing what's the difference between love and lust, that's the reason why they're being so truthful with these other people that they're dealing with because be, because they became that logical thinker. They really start thinking about how they truly felt, okay? So this also represents energy as far as meditation. It also represents energy as far as searching. So like I said earlier that this person was not, you know, connected with themselves on a spiritual le level. They could have did a lot of soul searching in order for them to come um in order for them to get out of the illusion that they were living in is what I'm hearing. So this is Fiona Apple. You have the Knight of Wands. So this is Method Man and Red Man. So this represents energy as far as fire. So Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius. This somebody coming in passionately, lead them fighting for uh, for you at, in your journey. Um, this person is going to be coming in. Like I said, they're very um, confident about the decision that they're making. You saw that you had the Justice card coming out twice. So I feel that this person is very um you know determined to bring you this truth determined to make this situation work between you and them and especially if this person is coming in with a love proposal okay especially if this person is coming in with a love proposal you have strength so i told you this person is gaining the strength to propose to you they have gained the strength to propose to you and this could be somebody from your past 
or like I said, it could be this new person is getting ready to propose to you. Okay, if, if this is a new person, you, you possibly know of this person, but you've never been in a relationship with this person and this person is taking it to another commitment, y'all possibly could have been dating. They possibly, again, could have not been wanting to give you a commitment. And now, again, they're realizing, again, that those other situations are lustful situations. And now this person is, this new person is coming in with a proposal to let you know that they're being truthful. So, like I said, I feel that somebody's getting ready to get proposed to, Okay. Um, and then I feel it's unexpected, but I feel like, um, this person knows what they want. Okay. So this is Mary J. Blige. This is represents Leo. Um, as far as the card you have house. So this represents energy as far as, you know, having conflicts as far as when it comes to your home. Um, so this also represents energy as far as, um, uh, this person wanting to move in with you. Y'all could be wanting to get a house together, moving into with one another. You have mutual, uh, mature woman. So this, you could be a little bit older than you, this person. There could be an old age difference. Some one of y'all could be more mature than the other person. I told you that there was somebody acting rebellious. If this person is changing the characteristics about themselves, they're maturing as an individual. You have a six here. Six represents harmony past. Two represents union and as well as balance. You have thoughts. I told you this person was thinking about you heavily. You are in this person's thoughts. Okay, they are thinking clearly now. You have a 16 here, which is a seven. Sevens represents mystery. Okay, healing. So it says, imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So healing needed to take place between the relationship between you and them. Again, y'all needed to overcome certain resentment as well as heartache and pain. Next card, sexual union. So it says, honor the place in one another where you are one, internal soul, for there will be for there you will find true blitz. So there could be intimacy between you and this person. Um, once this reunion takes place, or even if this is a new relationship, you and this person are going to have a strong chemistry as far as when it comes to intimacy, a sexual connection. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. If it does resonate with you, like my channel, subscribe to my channel. And I just want to say thank you and you have a great day.